Welcome guys to the second part of this video. In the last video we talked about 5 applications you can use to edit pictures on your smartphone. And in this series we are now with the part 2 of the video to show you applications and to you know color grade your photos using just your smartphone. If you haven't watched out the previous video, why and check it out because there are very good applications that I personally still use till today to edit pictures on my phone. This is the first five applications you need that as a professional photographer you need to edit your photos. Go back to the application. So why and watch it if you haven't watched it yet. Let's go down to this video and show you applications you can use to color correct or color grade on your smartphone with so let's start while i've actually worn this shirt you know this shirt reminded me of the first time i'm actually shooting a video the first day i actually shot i used this clothes it's really old right yes and the video was very terrible like it's the worst video well it's my first video so it's the worst video of all but i've come a long way from that anyway so if you want to watch the video and laugh a little bit at me just leave a comment anyway that's bad. I'm Sam Mo and welcome to the Cinema Academy channel. Today we are going to be giving you a few applications you can use to edit pictures on your smartphone in addition to the ones we've discussed in part one of this video. So, number one application on my list, we have Adobe Lightroom. Of course, we know Adobe Lightroom is very popular and everyone uses it today to color correct or color grade. What you need to do is, is create an account with Adobe and and, and you can start using the, any of their, you know, options. Anyway, that's it for Adobe Lightroom. Number two application for color grading, we have Photocov. Photocov is a very good application for color grading. You know, Photocov application is very, very good. It allows you to be able to change just like Adobe Lightroom. You can also change your EO saturation of an image. Go and choose the luminance, choose the saturation. It gives you more advanced control on an image where you can actually play with the colors and change the colors, saturate the colors, change the lighting of the colors, whatever you want to do with an image. Photocop uh, is a very powerful application, which I suggest if you are going to color correct or color grade your image on your smartphone and you are not using Adobe Lightroom. Photocov is a very good suggestion and alternative for you to use to color correct and color grade on your smartphone. The third one on my list is we have VSCO. VSCO is a very good application for color correcting and color grading. Just on pictures but also on videos. You will be able to color correct and color grade any of your videos using this application and choose out of the lots of lots of templates they have there and start color grading from that. Or you can of course start creating your own color grade. Third on my list is we have Polar. Polar is a new one I actually just found out of recently, which by the time you might be watching this video, might be a long time. If you are watching the future, that means this is the past. You get what I mean, right? Okay, so Polar is a very good application for color correction and color grading. It's actually very powerful. Surprisingly, this application allows you to, to do a lot of things you might need to actually pay for on on Adobe Lightroom or VSCO, you can actually do it for free. It gives you the, the power to do so many things on their smartphone applications for free. You can just go ahead and download it now from Play Store or if it's on iOS, you know, just install it and start editing with it. You can change the colors, the brightness, the tone, the, and it gives you so much power control, even smoothing the face, it looks fine. So many things you can do on this or this you know, powerful polar application. So it's an application I recommend that if, you know, you're looking for something that won't consume your space and won't even require your data or you signing up for anything or paying for anything, then polar is the application I suggest you do in addition to VSU and Photocov. The next one is on one photo. 
on one photo is a very good application you know on one photo wall it's an application very good for editing photo and images even raw images yes you can edit raw images on this because just like the rest anyway you can edit images that you shot raw on your camera and you can shoot use one more for on one photo editor application to start editing it a very good application for it to write it just like um Lightroom, it gives you all the features of Lightroom. You can do anything you want on it. There are alternative for you to use if you want to use something different from Lightroom. It's almost the same features, but it is also a good application for you to use. If you are using for more of something like something that will color grade your images fast and clean, it's Orange and Teal application or Teal. Any of these applications actually I used a lot back then to just add some preset on my images and be able to start adjusting it to my own liking, just having something to stand on and it will make some of your images to almost look alike and you have more like a, a pattern for your images. So this is something I think I can recommend. You can go for teal or orange and teal images. And of course, don't forget any of the applications that we recommended in the first video, go ahead and check them out. And all these applications are very good for you. If you are looking for applications you can use to start editing on your smartphone, something you can use to get the same results as if you are using a computer system, then these applications and the ones on my first videos are going to help you a lot. So watch out for the part three of these videos because in the part three, we'll be discussing about the photo manipulation part. What if you want to photo manipulate? We are looking for an application that can give us the results when we are cutting out an, an object for the background. We are trying to all want to retouch the face. What application should we use that can, that can be recommended if we don't have a computer system? If you watch out for the next video for that. If you like this video and it benefited something from the applications, go ahead and give us a, subs a thumbs up. That will actually make me so happy. I will keep the team to you know continue making these videos tell me you like it and i'll keep making another one for you that'll be a way of saying thank you till i see you another day we believe you are so creative and that creativity in you is so priceless see ya <laughs> later